Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 11 of Kings Connected. My name is Dylan Baker. In our last episode, we got to sit down and chat with Jacob Howard, a defenseman who is re-signing with the Kamoka Kings for his third season full-time with the organization. And it's a great interview, so if you haven't checked that out, we strongly recommend you do on our YouTube channel. Jacob, a steady defender in his own zone and a hard-nosed one of that, as he can lay a hit on anyone he pleases whenever he wants. So we were very excited to talk to him. And today we've got another great interview for you as we sit down with Rahul Bola, a goaltender who posted a 397 goals against average and an 895 save percentage with the Kings last year after coming over mid-season in a trade with the Hearst Lumberjacks. Rahul had an immediate impact with the Kings and uh, they went on a couple of runs with him between the pipes. Without further ado, let's begin our conversation with Rahul Bola. Away by Leavington and McConnell Barker will send it in. A hit there and the Flyers will go the other way with the pockets. Adam Jeffrey entering the offensive zone. Drops it off. Goes back down low. A chance for Michaud. Toe drag. Bola makes the save. I'm now joined by Rahul Bola. Rahul, how are you doing today? I'm good. How about yourself? Not too bad. Getting things started. You played your final year of minor hockey with the AAA Major Mid at North York Rangers. What did you learn there? Yeah, so um, that was actually one of my first years of playing a full year of AAA. Um, so with that being said, I really learned the competitive side to it. Um, especially being a goaltender, I realized um, the margin for error is so minimal. Um, so that really, you know, forced me to just come to each game fully prepared um, and really just give my team a chance to uh, to win every game. Um, I realized that, um, you know, the, the team needs a, a strong goaltender. Um, so I really just came into each game pr fully prepared and, um, you know, just gave my team a chance. Every team needs a good, strong goalie, as you mentioned there, and you've certainly blossomed into one. You came over in a trade last season with the Hearst Lumberjacks, the NOJHL. How difficult was the transition from that league to the GOJHL, and how did you make it a successful one? Yeah, so I felt like that, tra that uh, transition was actually pretty tough. Um, you know, I, I started off with the Hearst Lumberjacks team who was um, – tops of the league. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like I established myself as a top goaltender there. Um, it was almost like a second home to me. Um, you know, then I was traded to a Kamoka team who was, um, you know, they were struggling at the time. So I was dealing with a little bit of an environmental change. Um, you know, I was also dealing mm -hmm. with some emotions. Um, so that was the toughest thing for me. Um, how I made it, made it a successful one was really just putting away those emotions. You know, I knew I'm a, I know I'm a goaltender who's, um, was able to make a strong impact on any team I play for. So really just setting aside those emotions was the strongest thing for me. And I, uh, as once I did that, I felt like I settled in nicely with the guys as well as the team overall. For sure. And being traded is never easy, but if you, as long as you have confidence in yourself, you're able to set aside your emotions, as you mentioned there, the transition to a new league can be very successful. And it certainly was for you. What was your time in Kamoka like last season? Yeah, it was great. Um, Obviously, looking at the result, it was probably not, not, not ideal. Um, obviously, I thought we could have had a stronger, um, stronger effort in the playoffs. Um, but I felt like overall, it was a pretty decent year. Um, you know, I met, met some great guys. Um, if I'm looking at the uh, main challenge that I, that I faced, would, uh, it would probably be, probably be um, playing a full 60 um, really consistently. You know, I felt like each game had really um, lots of bounces, tips, screens. So I felt like playing consistent over a 60-minute um, game was a little bit of a challenge. Um, but overall, though, I'm, I'm happy where, where we, um, how, how I finished, and um, I'm hoping to improve for next year for sure. Definitely. And you touched on it there, the screens, the tips, all sorts of things going on in front of the net. What do you think the main difference was from the NOJHL earlier on in the season with the Hearst Lumberjacks and when you came over to Kamoka? Yeah. So the main thing for um, playing for a team like the Hearst Lumberjacks was, um, you know, we were certainly a strong team, right? So I, I, I didn't feel like I was necessarily, um, uh, I was certainly involved, but, uh, you know, moving on to a team like Kamoka, I felt like I was faced with a lot more, um, uh, a lot more chances in tight, um, a lot more rebounds. I felt like this, the, the IQ level of, of players in the goals were a little, a little stronger, I felt. So I felt like I was, you know, forced to make some acrobatic saves in the Goge a lot more than in, in the Noge, where, um, you know, with Hurst, I'd probably be making um, routine saves, whereas in Kamoka, I'd, you know, I'd forced to, you know, um, turn myself into new gears and just challenge myself kind of from that standpoint. Definitely. We saw you make some great saves last year, and it was certainly fun to watch you in the crease. As we mentioned earlier, you've re-signed with the Kings for next season. How'd you come to that decision? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So the biggest thing for me is uh, is my relationship with with the coaching staff. So I, I'm fully aware of um, you know what Rupe and Colin ex, uh, expect from me. Um, you know I'm fully confident in myself, and um, to know that the coaches you know think the same way as me, um, you know it'll only help me uh, throughout the course of the season. I feel. Yeah, of course, the Kings have, uh, as we've been told, a very welcoming organization. And as long as you know what the coaches have said for you and you can, you feel you can accomplish that, you should be successful. Now, Rube Chanada, president and GM, says that you have a great work ethic and you're an easy kid to like. He's hoping with the experience you gained last year that you'll become one of the top goalies in the league. What are your thoughts on Rube's words? Yeah, those words are definitely very encouraging. Um, you know, like I said, you know, I'm a goaltender who's, um, like, I'm a very confident goaltender. You know, I'm confident in my skills and abilities, and to know that um, you know the coaching staff think the same same way is um, is really an honor, and I think uh, it'll help me just to simply just focus on my game with no side distractions, um, and really just just focus on the game. Yeah. That's great. Of course, the belief from coaching staff and front office can certainly help you in, uh, in your performance on the ice. As an overager coming into next season, do you have any goals set for the next campaign? Yeah, for sure. Um, the main goal I have is to really just bring a more consistent game. You know, I felt like last year I'd um, I'd play well for like three to four games and I'd have the, the odd off game. Um, I'm really trying to minimize that and really try to bring bring my game uh, game in and game out. Um, if I'm looking at a few areas in my game that I'm looking to improve, it would certainly be my, um, my communication. I'm looking to talk more to the guys out there, um, my puck handling, my patience level. So those are just to name a few. Um, so if I'm if I improve on those, it'll just help me bring a, an overall consistent game, um, which I'm looking to carry over to to next season. We're excited to watch you play. What did you learn from Dave McDonald last season, the Kings goalie coach, and how do you think that he'll be able to further your game next year? Yeah, um, so it's obviously great to have a goalie coach by your side, um, especially as a full time goalie coach. Um, the main thing I learned from him is um, he really likes an aggressive goaltender. So he likes you, uh, you know, out on top of the crease, especially for dead shots. Um, he hates uh, seeing goalies allow shots uh, when you're too too deep in the crease. So, um, you know, he really brought the aggressive side in me, um, which I tried to implement in my game. Um, how I feel like he'll improve us for next year is, um, so we're actually planning on doing a lot more video. Um, so Dave will uh, we'll sit down with both goalies and, um, you know, do a lot more video. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping um, that'll, you know, improve our game throughout the season. It's awesome that you guys are going to be bringing in some of the video aspect of things to help uh, further your skills and your game. It should certainly improve uh, improve both goaltenders on the ice. Um, is there a guy that you really like watching play in the crease? Yeah, for me, it will definitely be Carey Price. Um, you know, I think he's um, he's the complete package when it comes to all areas of goaltending. Um, you know, I've always looked at him growing up, and I – you know, I think every goalie wants wants to be like him, even though they might not admit, but um, Gary Price, I feel like, is the complete package for sure. Yeah, Gary's, of course, one of the calmest goaltenders in the NHL and one of the most successful ones at that. Uh, great goalie for the Montreal Canadiens. And as a Habs fan, I was quite happy to, to hear you say that Price was, your, was the guy that you enjoyed watching the most. Um, what memories can you take away from last season, both in Hurst and in Kamoka? Yeah, um, First off, it would definitely be the relationship I, I've I've built. You know, obviously when you when you play with a spend as much time as you do with the guys in the locker room, you know you build relationships. Um, so I'm so that's definitely the main memory I, I take from it. Um, and also just um, you know, especially with my time in Kamoka, you know, obviously it wasn't you know um, the way we wanted to finish, but I felt like you know we had some high points like um, in early January we had that little winning streak. So um, it, was, it was nice to know, like, you know, our team was capable of doing that. Um, so looking forward to next, next season, I'm, I'm hoping we can bring that um, in a more consistent basis. For sure. We, uh, we hope that as well. Final question for you. What have you been doing throughout isolation to get yourself ready for next year? Yeah. So I've, I've been training at my, at my gym. So we actually, uh, my gym actually offers uh, workouts in small groups. Um, so I've been going consistently there. Um, uh, my goalie trainer has been holding ice sessions as well, so I've been trying to um, get out there as much as possible. Um, I've been working on my puck handling in, in my garage, um, getting my shot, getting my brother to take shots on me. So um, it's been pretty a productive time so far, for sure. 
Great that you've been able to stay in shape uh, throughout this period of isolation. We hope you can see we can see you on the ice again soon. Thanks so much for joining me today, Rahul. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you again to Rahul for joining me there. A great interview with him as we talked about how he really understands his strengths and weaknesses in the crease and he knows what he has to build off of. He also mentioned his close relationship with the coaching staff in front office and that's a big thing for players as they want to uh, make sure that they know what they need to do to not only stay on the roster but succeed and continue to grow their game with the organization. Rahul uh, knows what Colin Martin, uh, Dave McDowell, Bruce Chanadat are all looking for out of him and uh, he looks to accomplish those goals next year. He's a confident guy. He's calm in the crease provides a steady calming presence uh, between the pipes for the Kings. A great interview with him and uh, we thank you all very much for joining today to check out this interview with Rahul Bola. We'll be back on Thursday with another great episode.